Okay, at this point, we're going to build a spaceship. And so control X to get back to where you mm -hmm. were to get rid of everything. And hit erase all. And we're back in the screen. Now, if I was in 3ds Max, I would just start with a cube and build a spaceship. But I'm not. I'm in Blender, so I have to think differently. So I'm going to use a cylinder. And what I'm going to do is hit delete to get rid of the cube. And I'm going to place a cylinder on the screen. So what do I do? I hit what bar? Spacebar. Space bar. There you go. Go to mesh and go to cylinder. Okay. Put a cylinder on the screen, and eight vertices is fine. And I can actually rotate that around, arc rotate it around, so I can see it like that. And that's the right. There we go. Okay. okay. Now I can actually, if I don't like that direction, I can actually rotate this. And I, I really, for this one, I don't like that direction. So what I'm going to do is hit my R key, and I'm going to rotate along. Now notice as I rotate, so can you see the numbers right there? The rotation numbers. It shows you what degrees you are. And so you really want to try to get, I'm going to rotate around a certain axis. Let's go to the x-axis. There you go. And I want to try to get 90 degrees if I can. And that's good. And I'm going to bring this out a little bit so it's kind of sitting on the axis like that. That's what I want to see, okay? Something like that. All right? How do you move that up on the axis? Just with these translation tools, this translation gizmo. Okay. And once again, be aware of what axis you're on. You can see here's the y-axis, RGB. Red is, red is X and R is uh, Y and Z is blue, okay? So I want to now start working on this just a little bit and build a ship out of it. I'm going to middle rotate to get in. I'm going to shift middle down to drag into position. And I'm going to stretch this out. So there's going to be a middle part, a side part, and all those different parts for the wings and everything like that. Um, let's see if I'm happy with this. Going to rotate around again. Okay. Now I'm looking at this right here. I kind of want the flat side up. So what I'm going to do is hit my R key and I want to hit my Y key so I can rotate around the Y axis and see I'm just getting my flat side up, just like that. Do you guys have something that looks like this? Okay, so let me just leave this here and I'll walk around and make sure you guys are here and they'll be ready to go. Okay, so immediately you're hit with a difference between 3ds Max and Blender. Uh, with Blender, you really need to think ahead. So you see I spent a little bit of time getting my basic perimeter all set in the right position, where with 3ds Max, I could throw a cube out there and just start modeling like crazy. Not as much thinking ahead as there is in Blender. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of work here. I'm going to hit the Tab key. Uh, make sure you clicked on the screen. Hit the Tab key. Going to see how every, all uh, vertices are highlighted. I'm going to hit the uh, A key to get off of those. Hit the B key. I'll make sure I'm on vertice selection. And I'm going to select the end right there. And then I'm going to extrude. So hit the E key to extrude. That's one. And then I'm going to click to make sure that's okay. Let that be the middle of the body. And then I'm going to hit the uh, shift middle mouse down to move over. I'm going to hit the E key again to extrude again. Good. And I could extrude one more time for the tail if I want it. Hit the E key again to extrude again. So you should have something that looks like this. I'm going to go start working on the front of the engine, uh, front of the plane right now. So I'm going to hit the shift key middle button and go to the front. And I'm going to hit the uh, A key to get off everything. going to hit the B key to get selection. And I'm going to select the front of my craft right there. I'm going to walk around and make sure you guys are all at that point. So now that you have one of the ends highlighted, you hit the S key and you're going to shrink them. There you go, like that. And click, and guess what we're going to do? We want, all, all, we want all that to be a what? A point, so we're going to hit our W key and meld that at the center. And it removes the vertices. And now what we want to do, we want to be, that, to be down, kind of like a plane, so you can shift all those down, just like that. Shift. See that little translation tool? I just hit that Z translation tool. This little uh, gizmo right here is a translation gizmo. I translated all those vertices down. And you can rot arc rotate around that a little bit if you want to to see if that's okay. And that's good. And what we're going to do right now is I'm going to hit the shift, uh, middle mouse, and I'm going to actually select the whole thing and I'm going to shrink it down a little bit just like a plane should be shrunk down. Now, right now, this thing's a little too fat, so I want to bring it down a little bit. So I'm going to hit the A key, mm -hmm. let me click on that, and select all the vertices. And I'm going to hit the S key, right? And then I want to, in a sense, bring it down. So I make sure I bring it down. In what direction? Let's hit the Z key 
the Z direction. You see that? I'm bringing it down a little bit. Just make it a little flatter. And so if I arc rotate around that, you can see it's kind of, now it's kind of flat like I want it. See that? With the A key, you can select all the vertices. All right, now what I want to do is, I, there's two ways to do this. I can extrude the wings out. We'll do that later. But I'm just going to pull the edges out. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick here, okay? So I'm going to come along here, and I'm going to, right, I'm going to go to edge mode. So let me open this up so you can see that. And let me move this down because you can't quite see the, the uh, bar. There we go. I'm going to go to edge mode. You see this little edge, edge right here? I'm going to click on that. I'm going to A to get off of everything. And now that I'm on edge mode, arc rotate a little bit. I'm going to select this edge right here. You see that edge? I'm going to arc rotate that a little bit there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that edge out with this little translation gizmo. Look at that. So now that you have one side stretched out, go ahead and stretch the other side out. This is arc rotate around. Right click on that edge and then just stretch it out. And then you want to look down on the top just to make sure everything's about right. You can, you can actually use these squares to make sure everything's evened up. Okay. Now I want to shrink my wings a little bit. So I'm going to come back up here, arc rotate around again. I'm going to hit the S key. Okay. And see, I can shrink that. Brought it to a thin place. And I'm going to ro arc rotate around again. Select that edge right there. Hit the S key and shrink that a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Now, if you're too close, you need to get a little bit off when you hit, hit, hit the S key. There you go. It makes it easy, more manageable. There you go. So I have a portion of my plane right there, and I, I'd like to pull the cockpit up a little bit. So watch what I'm going to do, guys. Keep your eyes on me real quick. I'm going to right-click on this edge right here. You see that? Because I'm in edge selection mode. And I'm just going to pull this up like that. Look at that. And then, with my translation tool, I'm going to bring that pit up, uh, cockpit up a little bit. Look at that. So see if you can get that far with it. And watch what I can do here one more time. I can just grab that translation tool and move that edge forward just like that.